All right, what's up? It's Ace said back with another deck profile video. Today we're gonna to be going over my fossil deck I've been working on. This is more of the building blocks I would say for it, and not uh not too crazy, but really fun competitive wise. It can keep up with some decks if I don't brick. I do brick sometimes a lot with it, and I'm kind of starting out how to learn how to play it. You can play the Emancipator engine by itself as a separate deck, but I wanted to add it with the fossil so it's the rocks. It's so basically just in game. In-game goal is at this deck, I would say, is to use your opponent's monsters for fusion materials, uh, being able to attack multiple times on the field, bouncing stuff back to your opponent's field from the hand, and create a lot of search materials from your deck. So without further ado, let's get started. I won't go over the full deck in this video. I will actually just leave the deck list in the description below. It's going over the win conditions and plays you might want to go for. Let's get started. The main thing you need to know about fossils itself is they use their opponents they can use their opponents monsters in the graveyard but in order to fuse something they have to banish fusion materials missing from any graveyard so you can't fuse material monsters that are on the field sadly which which can be kind of suck sometimes but a lot of, with a lot of people using stuff in their graveyard and stuff you can you can pop off this car pretty much a lot and the main thing about it is you're going for your level fours you're going for your level sixes you're going for your level eights and how you're doing that is you can use time stream to level up your fossil fusion monsters by two each fossil fusion has a graveyard effect as well i stuff i think uh let me check something real quick yeah, 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 yeah. They, some of them all, some don't have graveyard effects some of them don't in order to get to these cards however i use the emancipator engine to search my deck for like the top five cards in the deck and especially some of the level fours you will be doing that by getting weather weathering soldier to your field or sending it to the graveyard in effect to add a fossil fusion to your hand you could also use flint crager if you special summon it by using the emancipator card you discard a card and get a fossil fusion monster from your deck from your extra deck to the graveyard and then you can pop off their effects you can also do the plays of being able to summon, being able to send Skullbone to the graveyard in order to search out a time stream. And this one allows you to search out a fossil fusion. So you have these two as the stars if you have Flint Crager. For the Emancipator cards, you will have Emancipator Leo as the special summoning a rock monster from the graveyard. And also uh, adding an Emancipator card to your hand. By using this effect, you will be able to special summon an emancipator card from your hand by using this effect. And also, quick effect wise, you can banish, uh, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard and banish it. The thing to note the only way you can use these quick effects is if you actually have an emancipator monster with the say element in your graveyard, as the rocks here. It can't lose the Leo because I only have, I don't have the red one in here right now. I did, but I wanted to take them out. But I can use the water one and I can use the wind one for quick effect when they stay in the graveyard. Last but not least, we have Emancipator Dragon or Dragite, I want to say. Easy, easily be able to clear the field off, but that's bouncing stuff back to your opponent's hand. And also, quick effect wise, you can negate a spell and trap card. If I have a water monster in the graveyard, which is really cool. Pretty much the main thing about the deck is you're going for crazy attacks. As some of these monsters can attack multiple times, you're going for a bounce effect for uh, Dragite. You're trying to you don't really go link line. I just have access code talker if I have something I gotta like, like really attack over. So that's one thing I would say for it. Abelosa is this there to the gate monster effects. So I'm able to actually have multiple monsters on the field. And Galite the Dragonite is a really cool. This level four, not level four, but that, uh, rank 4 XCs in order to search your deck for rock monsters or especially some of the rock monsters from your hand I mostly just use this card for uh, being able to pull off weathering soldier if it's attached to it and stuff like that and also the support card wise block dragon is an excellent card for rock monsters this man is 3 and then when it's destroyed get 3 cards you can add up 3 rock monsters from your hand to your deck so level equals 8 and it's not too hard. You just have emancipated cards. 
The beer is a searchable rock, I would say. I don't know. If, oh, I can't really say it's searchable. You can't push someone off with their mass pairs, though. And Gaia, pl Gaia played the Earth Giants is there, too. How about closed games, too? That's it for the deck deck profile, I would say. Uh, check out the replay after this to see how you want to play it yourself. Deck list is in the description below. Make sure to check out my other videos on the channel. And that's pretty much it for the deck profile. Uh, check out the replays and see you guys later. Hey, say out.